Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well today we're going to be using the fantastic Divi Supreme Modules plugin to create this cube rotate carousel that's actually got a video light box pop up. When you click on the image or the button it pops out into a little video for you and it'll do the same with the button there. It's a great little feature and really easy to do with the Supreme module so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Okay once loaded let's go down to where we want to work. I'm simply going to delete this module. Okay so I've got a section and in that section I've got a row with one column. I'm going to add a module with a little dark button there. Divi comes as standard with all these light grey modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add Divi Supreme modules, and the link will be below this video, you get all these dark blue ones here, and I think there's over 40 of them, and they really do supercharge Divi for you. There's some really great things on here. And today we're looking for the Supreme Card Carousel. There it is right there. Just left click, it'll put it in there for us. Now we need a Let's put the arrows in there. We need to add an item. Let's add an item. It sort of throws in three cards by default. A card is basically an image with a title and text underneath and a call to action button. Of course, you can put a subtitle in there if you want a subtitle. And your comment goes down here, obviously. Next is our image and badge, and we're still on our content. You can select your image right here. Just put in any old image. As you can see, it's put in the image in there. We've only actually got one of these. It's duplicating these just to, just to show you what's going on. If you want to use the image as a background, you can do right there. And you can change the image height by sliding up and down with this one. But the default was good for me which was 240. Background image size is absolutely fine and position. Don't want it to repeat and don't want it to animate. I think we will open the video in a video light box. So let's switch this to on and then you need to get your pop-up URL for your video. So let's go to YouTube and get a video. I think it supports Vimeo and various other platforms. Now I've got the link, I'll just paste it in there. Now the little badge up here, put in whatever text you were. If you want to display a badge, you can turn this off in the other settings. Obviously put in what you want, as you can see up there, that's the badge text. Now, if you want the module to link to something, you can put it in here. I don't particularly, because we're just going to use it to pop up this video. And let's go down to the button, and for the button link, I'm going to use it to pop up the video also. If you don't want it to, that's fine. You can just use it as a regular button and, and link it to anything you like. But I'm going to turn this on and use it as a video light box and put this in the URL right there too. There we go. And let's say see more, or whatever it is you'd like to see. Okay, background. I'm going to give our card a dark background. There we go. We're at the bottom now. Let's go over to our design tab next door. Image, don't want to do anything with that. Badge, let's give our badge a custom color. I'm going to take those round corners away and I think I'll just make it red. Now you can use a custom position. You can either decide to put it top right, blah, 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 or you can align it exactly using the custom position here and just shoot it over and up and down to exactly where you want it but I'm happy for it to be in the top right there that's fine for me so we've given it a red background let's give it a bit more padding than that let's make it a little bit bigger let's say it's 15 picks just put in the 15 it'll put in the picks for you and once you've done one side you can hit the chain it'll do the other side for you 
button font's fine. I'll make it semi bold so we can see it a bit better. I'm going to make it white also, and I'll make it capitalized. I think. There we go. Rolling down a little bit. Text size is fine. Letter spacing is fine. Don't want any box shadow. Don't want those rounded corners. So I'm going to ch simply change that from 50 to zero. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy with that. We'll keep on rolling down. Title text. You barely see it there. Let's just make that so you can see it. We'll go red. We'll go capitalized. Let's make it bold. And let's pull it up a little bit in size. And roll down a little bit more. Body text. Let's make that white in color. And obviously, you want to do exactly what you want to do for this. Subheading text, I think I'll make that red as well. You can change the font on any of these, and Divi has, I think it's over 200 font sets. It's crazy. You're not going to, you're not going to run out of styles with the Divi thing. If you hover over one, it will show you what it looks like. But I'm happy to use the default for this today. But subheading, I do want to make it a little bolder, semi-bold, and. I'm going to make it red so we can see it. And I'm going to take it up a little bit in size. Something like that. Great. OK, moving on down. Button. Make it red just like our other one. The reason my default button's purple, that's the way I've got it set up in my theme customizer. So we'll go down to button. Use custom styles. If you want to, you can align it left, right, center, wherever you want. Button text size is fine. Text color white, that's fine too. Button background, I want to make that red. And I'll do the same thing with the border. And when it hovers, and this is common to all Divi modules, when you hover over the dark legending, if these icons appear and you've got an arrow, left click on it, it'll let you put in a hover state when your mouse is on it and a desktop state when it's not. So desktop, I want it to stay red. When my mouse is hovering over it, let's make it purple. And we'll do exactly the same for the background color as well. There's our little arrow, hover state, purple. There we go. And let's put it back on desktop. So I'm pretty happy with that for our first card at least. Like I say, these are just duplicates. It's just filling out the, the little row there for us. And I'm pretty happy with that. You can choose your icon. When you hover over the button, it's got a little icon there. You can choose what to put in there or whether to show it or not. It's actually set to no, but I can see it. So if you really don't want it, just flip it to yes, flip it back to no, it'll be gone. OK, don't need any shadow or anything like that. I'm pretty happy with that. So that's our first little slide there. Let's just save that one. There it is right there. Now we're back in our carol carousel settings. Let's go over to our carousel settings we're still on content carousel effect you can have slide cover flow flip or cube I'm gonna put mine on cube there we are we've got a cube we've got nothing we just got the one so it's sort of rotating around itself there but you can see the cube effect center mode is not going to work on this because we've got a single slide there Slider speed is a little fast for me. I'm going to take mine up nearer a second, sort of well, I don't know, around 800. I think I used for the last one. Let's use a little bit slower this time. As you can see, that that just slows it down, and lets you see the effect a little bit better. I want it to auto play. Change interval, 3,000 seconds is how long it stays on each one. I do want to pause on hover. If somebody sees an image they want to look at or read the writing, it's nice if they can put their mouse over it and get it to stop. Spacing's irrelevant because we've again only got the one here. Yet we want it to infinitely loop. If you've got different sized images or different amounts of text in each of your carousel slides, I'd put the equal height on because it would look a lot better if they're all the same height rather than sort of going short, long, middle, etc. on different height. I think I'll leave the arrows on there and that's the pagination we'll obviously we'll have more when we've got more slides going 
grab cursor is fine that little hand is the grab cursor don't need a background don't need an admin label let's go over to our design right here layout and alignment at the moment this is what they call stacked which for me works perfectly because you've got the image stacked on top of the content here you can have it in line if you want and it'll be sort of left and right which is also a nice effect that's the in line for you you've got the image on the left and your content on the right there and you can flip it around the other way if you want to but I'm gonna put mine back and put it back on stacked because that's what I like at the moment you can customize your image in here I really don't want to do anything to my images I'm happy with them as they are I don't want to put borders on if you do it's all in here for you and if we keep going down there's really nothing I want to do to my badge either position we've done all that Bom. we're good to go there let's roll on down arrow pagination text title text we're good to go there so let's go back to our content let's duplicate this say one two three times so we've got four of them and then all you need to do is simply go into your next one because it's got all the same styles put in your new images or whatever it is you want to put in to your one I think that's the same image I used last time let's use a different one continue on down I'll just put some new images in these and last one and we should be done I'll just put an image in here obviously you're going to need to change the content of yours but for expediency I'm just throwing in a few images so we've got different things to look at when I say this okay I think we're good to go let's save our changes there save again save the page changes and exit the visual builder and there we go there's our little cube rotate carousel slider there and when we hover over it it'll stop and both our badge and the image I should say both the image and the button will pop up the video that we put inside there and that's a great little effect so there you go there's how to uh, create a cube rotate carousel with a video pop-up using the Divi Supreme modules so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day